Ok, xin chào mọi người, mình là Phong và mình đang ở GM Việt Nam Và ngồi với mình ở đây uh, ngày hôm nay là Mr. Louis, là CTO của Trust Wallet Một cái tên mà chắc hẳn là các bạn nếu mà đã tham gia thị trường một thời gian thì đã đều đã nghe đến Và hôm nay thì chúng ta sẽ có cơ hội để trò chuyện với một uh, nhân vật rất là high level ở trong, uh, trong thị trường và một, uh, một expert để nghe về những insight của anh So, hello Louis Hello, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing great so, Uh, can you uh, introduce uh, a bit about yourself and how you feel about GM Vietnam at this time? Yeah, so I'm Luis. Uh, I'm the, I lead the engineering team at Trust Wallet. Uh, this is my second year at GM Vietnam. It looks great. It looks beautiful just like last year. I think we have probably way more people than last year, if yeah. uh, the early feeling is correct. Uh, but yeah, it's an excellent event as always. Yeah, and the market this time is uh, a yeah, lot so better than last year. Much right? different market sentiment than last year. Last year it was uh, definitely deep in the bear market. Now we're in the beginnings of a beginnings or mid part of the bull market. So a lot more excitement, a lot more optimism. Uh, generally feeling like this is the right time to get back going. Yeah, and from from your point of view, like from just well size, like uh, how is your milestone, how your your new milestone that you achieved from the last several years? Yeah, so last year we uh, main focus was just staying uh, staying in business and being able to continue to provide products to our users. Since the bear market now, we've had some transitions, right? So we've been focusing on user growth, uh, which is last year there wasn't a lot of growth. So this year, offering our users more tokens, more chains, more access to dApps, really focusing on giving them early access. There's a lot of new projects, especially in Vietnam. Uh, and so these projects are launching, they're launching new tokens, users want access to those. And so we're focusing our efforts on making that available to our users. Oh, cool. So from the point of view of a retail user, like what they can expect from, from Just Wallet, like new uh, product and like new promotion, for example, that they can expect from? Yeah, so what you can expect from Trust Wallet is we're gonna, as you know, we're the number one chain uh, wallet that offers the most chains, right? So we offer EVM, non-EVM chains, we offer L2s, we have extensive support for L2s, uh, ZK L2s. Uh, and so what you can expect from us is As new tokens are launching, we're probably going to be one of the first, if not the first wallet, to have these tokens available. Um, if we're not the first ones, like within a couple weeks, we'll be the ones that you can come to Trust Wallet and move your assets pretty easily. So we'll continue to provide not only the ability to access your assets, but also be able to move your assets. A lot of times users get an asset, but they want to move it to something else. Nobody does it better than us. So. Okay. So by, by being someone who have the front seat growth uh, when looking at the market uh, grow, and also in a global scale, like how do you like feel the, the Southeast Asia and also Vietnam? Like how do you feel about like the market over here and the behavior of retail user over here? Yeah, so the behavior in South uh, in Vietnam specifically is there's a lot of new development, new products are launching in Vietnam more so than other parts of the world, right? So you see this really heavily in Singapore, Vietnam, Indonesia to some extent. And the sentiment here is people want access to these projects and these tokens, right? So these dApps. Uh, and this is what we're trying to provide. Historically, we haven't really focused on making these access easy to access in the app. We've always, they've always been available, but the experience hasn't been quite there yet. So now we're really focused on how do we optimize the user experience for specific audiences. So the game plan right now is, hey, let's focus on what is Vietnam, what does the Vietnamese user want, how do they want to access it, and then actually building a product that simplifies that user experience. Right? Okay, I see. So that is from a product builder. So as a, as a really like veteran in the industry, yep. you build a lot of like solid product. Like what is your advice for the new product project builder who are looking for like uh, working in something and how do they uh, get connect, get support from, from Just Wallet? What they can expect from, from Just Wallet? Yeah, so I think uh, as we develop, like kind of working with different product developers or even builders specifically, what, we're, what you can rely on us is like support to get your app or your token, your NFTs, any of those assets that you're offering to your users, Trust Wallet, in most cases, in a lot of cases, will be the first entry point for you, right? Uh, we offer a lot of support in terms of marketing, so if you want to reach, you know, we offer, we have more than 2 million daily active users, 10 million active users, so if you really want a, a, an audience and kind of get your project out there and well known, like Trust Wallet is usually the, the first entry point there. Uh, we also have a lot of deep integration support if you want to improve your user, user experience. So we work with projects to help them refine their projects, uh, give them some tips on like user experience, we give them feedback, uh, and we tend to create these like feedback loops, right? We have a vested interest in projects being successful. Projects are learning, are building new things and they want to be successful. And the only way it works is if we kind of create this feedback loop, right? And this yeah. is kind of what we're doing. Uh, that's really awesome. And looking at the retail user, so as, as we are uh, experiencing like the bull market right now, as you mentioned, so 
there, there will be a lot of newcomers jump into the market. Yep. So what are your advice to them? Like, what do they need to know like, before putting the money they assess uh, in a fluct highly fluctuated yep. market like this? Yeah, so I think the first thing is don't treat it as a wallet, uh, a physical wallet. You treat your wallet or your ass, like actual real world money. So treat it as like a bank and think of it as a bank. And once you start thinking about banking, then you start thinking about how do I secure my assets? What do I have to do to secure and make sure I don't lose my assets? What, do, what is the level of trust that I need here, right? And so if you start going the journey of treating it as a financial application, uh, then you start asking all the important questions for you, for yourself. And a lot of new users think of it as a, a Facebook or a social media app, but it's really a financial app. And it's really important that you think of it as your assets because if you, if you treat it as your asset, you, you won't lose them as easily. And losing your assets is the worst experience, right? This is something that we're still struggling with. Yeah, very cool. So just while this is a go-to uh, place when people want to secure the assets. So like uh, for the people, like follow up with that, like from people who are uh, first like looking for like a place to store their uh, storage, like uh, from, from the point of view as a product user, uh, what is different here just while from like uh, other products in the market right yeah. now? I think the main thing, that, uh, the main differentiator for Trust Wallet is the mindset has always been access as much of the crypto ecosystem as possible, right? So what that means is a lot of wallets focus on just one type of chain. So there's either we focus on EVM or we focus on Cosmos or Solana. We actually don't have that mindset. We have the mindset of let's try to add all chains possible and give you equal access to all chains. That's the main product differentiator. So you come to Trust Wallet if you want Phantom, Cosmos, any, or uh, Solana, Cosmos, EVM, it doesn't matter, we have Aptos. But if you just want one app, you will end up at one of these other wallets, right? That's the main value add. I see. I see, really, really cool. All right, thank you for your really insightful sharing with us in Jim Vietnam. Oh, so, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate okay. it. So you want to give some, some last word for the audience in there, what they can uh, say, say hi to them, and like what they can expect from, from you in the future. Expect from me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, thank you for listening. If you're interested in learning how to use Trust Wallet or interested in learning how to use crypto, uh, please visit our website. There's a lot of useful information to get started, the useful information to understand crypto, uh, and then a lot of best practices to learn how to use uh, crypto safely. All right, remember to follow Trust Wallet on our social media and also our website to uh, follow up with the new, new list, uh, newest updates from, from Trust Wallet. All awesome. right, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. All right, thank All right. you. Take care. Okay. Bye.